I survived 100 days on a deserted island in hardcore Minecraft. During these 100 days, we transformed this tiny piece of land into a massive island paradise equipped with a secret offshore underwater base. These 100 days were absolutely wild, so I hope you enjoy. Well, here's our island. I'm joking, I'm joking, sort of. Anything we build within these 100 days has to be at least on this chain of islands. So we're not limited to just these two blocks of sand. We've got a little bit more. Unfortunately, we spawned on the island with a... Uh, with nothing, so we've got to do a little bit of swimming. Let's see what's over here. And if you do want this seed, of course, it's in the description below. Oh, okay, good. There's not just a tree on this island, but there's also some animals. What is that? A wolf and some chickens? Look at this. We've got <laughs> we've got a lot of chickens. What's going on here? Well, I guess I'm lucky that I got so many mobs to spawn just on one little island. That's that's nice. Okay, well, I'll take this tree. We'll have to get some saplings and hope for the best. I've got some big goals for these 100 days though. Of course, I want to expand these islands, defeat the Ender Dragon, and do all the stuff I normally do, but I've got some fun build projects in mind. I really want to see if I can make these islands look uh, a lot better than they do now. And also, I think it'd be cool with this sort of ocean world to build some sort of Atlantis type situation, but under the water. So some sort of underwater city, somehow get villagers in there. I think that'd be really cool. Okay, come on, please. Please give me at least one sapling. I'm praying, because I don't know where any other land or any other trees are. Okay, we, we got one. That's all I need. Okay, let's replant these saplings, and while we wait for these to grow, let's check out that over there. Thankfully, these islands at least have one piece of grass, so uh, all I'm going to have to do is get some dirt, and we can get a big grassy area to spread. So the rules I've made to limit myself is I do have to limit my development to these islands, but building underwater is okay since that's its own challenge but i am allowed to travel to collect resources now i'm probably not going to do that often because uh i have to travel far and i don't want to go too far from my base and die but of course like gathering resources underground is totally okay okay let's see what kind of goodies are in this ship hopefully there's some fingers crossed okay we go down here and in here there should be a chest yes why can't i open it Hello? Oh! You know, this always happens. I don't know if anyone knows why this happens. Let me know, but every time I enter a ship and I try to open the chest, it always takes multiple tries. I never have that issue with any other types of chests, though. And hey, we got some crops. That'll be good. These pants. I'm breaking three. Well, we'll take it. Buried treasure map. So I think we should maybe follow it while we're waiting for the trees to grow. Well, we're pretty small in this map, so I think I'd actually rather wait a while until we have a boat. I could make a boat now, I guess, but I'm gonna wait. Hey, at least we can get some extra logs this way. I also do want to say really quick, thank you for all the support on the 100 Days videos so far. You guys seem to really like them, and so if you want to see more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support, because these videos, uh, they take a long time to make. <laughs> As a full-time student with multiple other jobs, I don't know how I'm doing it, but somehow we make it work. Okay, I'll collect a few more logs from here, this is gonna be nice because... It'll probably take a while for those trees to grow, so I want to make sure I have enough wood in the meantime. And maybe smelt some of these logs for charcoal, because I'm gonna need torches. <laughs> With these shaders, it gets really dark, but also, I don't have access to sheep, and I don't know where any cobwebs are. So, I can't make a bed, which means I can't exactly sleep to skip the night. Unless I want to fight some spiders, but I don't want to do that with no armor. That'll certainly take me out. We are in hardcore, so I've only got one shot at this. It's especially annoying when I'm filming one of these videos, and I die within the first, like, ten days, because then I have to start over. But normally, as long as I can make it past that initial difficulty bump, once I get some iron armor, weapons, and tools, it's pretty hard for me to die, as long as I'm not stupid. But usually, I'm pretty stupid. Alright, well, we've got, like, two stacks of wood, so we have the crafting table, and then I'll make this boat for now to make my life easier. Well, still no trees, but we do have... <laughs> An unlimited supply of eggs, which is uh, kind of nice, I guess. Set up camp on this grassier island. Collecting this cobblestone should be pretty easy as long as we stay up here. Okay, we have that to protect ourselves. And now we've got a pickaxe. Okay, so now that we've got this and also a boat, I think it would be smart just to check out this map. I just think this is a good idea because sometimes there's some really good items in buried treasure chests. So, who knows, maybe there's diamonds, or iron, or some good armor. Okay, it looks like we're headed in the right direction, so it should just be right over the land here in this beautiful area. 
Fortunately, I can't build here. <laughs> Fortunately, it does look like the chest is going to be underwater, so that might make things a little more difficult. And spiders. Oh boy, let's run. No, oh, thank you. I'm not going to deal with you today. Okay, the map is starting to update. We're close. Gonna keep on running. Too many monsters. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Oh, we're almost there, and it is on land. Okay. I didn't realize the map was just wrong. Okay, come on. Yeah, come here. Gotcha. I'm not gonna even try to collect enough string for a bed because the, the, I will die. What do I have to do? Uh, like, align myself with the bottom of the X, I think? Something like that? I think that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Creepers don't see me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my distance over here. Oh, one can see me. I'm hidden, right? I'm just gonna get myself down this little hole. Hopefully no creeper falls in the hole. That uh, would be very bad. Okay, I'm gonna dig it kind of like this, just so I have a staircase out in case I need to run quickly. I'm not taking any chances. Okay, surroundings are clear. Let's get this last block. And, oh, of course! There we go, there are some good items. Heck yeah, this is nice. Now I just have to survive the trip back. I think this is the direction I should... Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, I see. Around here. Okay, um, hmm. Nothing too good, but I'll take it. So anyways, yeah, that was definitely worth it. This is the not too safe for me, so I'm gonna get right back to my safe little island. But that was good. How many? Okay, we got two diamonds, 13 iron ingots, and two gold ingots. That's nice. And we got a heart of the sea, and even though I've been playing Minecraft full-time for eight years, if you ask me what it does, I I couldn't tell you. Heart of the sea and Nautilus shell, like, I, I have no idea. I'm gonna be real. Wait, is that my island? been looking around for so long I can't seem to find it. No, because there should be a shipwreck near the island. Um, I think I'm lost. Uh-oh. Okay, here we are, back on the safe island. And we survived our first day. One down, 99 to go. <laughs> okay, so, we definitely need a chest to store some of this stuff. This, because it's the best piece of armor to make. And then this, because skeletons. And I think I should do this. I know swords are beneficial, but I need to worry more about protecting myself. What I don't know is if I should... You know what? No, nah, I'm gonna do it. Let's be impulsive. I'm gonna make the diamond sword now. And next time we find diamonds, we'll make the pickaxe. Because I don't need a diamond pickaxe right now. <laughs> I'm not going to the nether. I barely even have armor. It's a good start. Going to need food somehow. Hey, we got a baby chicken. There we go. He... He is my special trick. What do you guys think I should name him? Do you have any good names? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll pick a good one. Okay, so we're doing pretty good for ourselves. I actually already have enough coal to make some torches, so we'll do that just to get started here. Start. I have the fishing rod in case I need food, but for now I do have a little bit of food. Oh, it's already cooked. I didn't realize. And I'm going to do this just to get like one carrot planted just in case. Okay, what else? Uh, I'm not going to eat the poisonous potatoes. Oh, we got a tree. Cool. Well, considering it was just our first day, I think we're pretty stacked, actually. And once we get a good supply of seeds and dirt, I can start breeding these chickens. The final iron ingot to make a shovel so that I can effectively uh, collect some of this dirt and expand this island. I'm not going to worry right now about making this island look potentially ugly. Uh, I just want to expand this grass platform as large as I can. Once we have access to better resources, you know, like diamond tools, weapons, once we find a good cave system, then I'll worry about, okay, maybe we want to make this look a little prettier. All right, so let's make this axe, and then we can break these trees and get some of this planted. The only reason I mentioned keeping the islands pretty is because, like, I do want to keep the natural island look like I want the island to sort of blend into the ocean instead of just being, like, a floating piece of dirt. I don't think that looks good. So once we get more dirt in the future, that can be a goal. But right now, I'm not too concerned. Okay, well, uh, the only next thing for me to do is head into the mines and start gathering resources because uh, we're we're pretty limited with what <laughs> we can do on this island. But before we do that, let's see. Maybe I can get a little bit of fish to eat because I don't really have much food. I don't have any sources of food. I can cook this kelp. It's not a great food source. But it's there if I need it. And I guess I've got these chickens, but I want to try to save them for now. I don't I don't want to take them all out just yet. We'll take this food, and that should be enough to support us just for a little bit. 
hopefully. Definitely going to be a slow start until we get beds here, but hopefully it won't take too long. In the caves, we can hopefully find some spiders and try not to die while killing them so that we can hopefully get some string. But if that doesn't work out, you know, we can always maybe find a mine shaft or maybe we'll stumble upon some sheep. Who knows? I doubt it though. All right, I've got some kelp and the correct texture pack, which has a lower shield. So we should be good to edge the cave. So here's what I want to try. Here's some sand. Where is the water? Okay, looks like maybe I can mine straight down like... Hmm. Let me get a little bit of this wood and try this. Ah, oh, it will. Okay. I don't want to dig straight down forever, but th this is a good start. We're getting there. You know, it's funny though, because I do dig straight down quite frequently and people freak out, but honestly, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill you. Even without good armor, even without a water bucket, you can dig straight down and 99% of the time, you'll be safe. You'll fall in a cave or if you do fall in the lava, as long as you act quick, you'll be fine. I've been playing Minecraft for so long now, it just it just kind of automatically happens. I don't know. But I think I have to worry more about drowning than lava in this world. All these caves are just going to be underwater caves. It's going to be really tricky to navigate. But we, we'll try our best. Slow down our mining. I do hear a zombie. So there's a cave nearby. And that also means that it's not an underwater cave, which is exactly what I want. Oh, I think we found it. That was pretty easy. <laughs> See, digging straight down is great. Everyone should do it. Mr. Zombie, I think we're safe for now. Come here, buddy. Okay, uh, doesn't look like this cave's too big. However, I hear more zombies behind me, so I think this is a... Another cave? Let's try to find it. Definitely sounds like it's coming from this way. Because the zombies are getting louder. Well, there's iron above me, so I'll take that. Oh. Well, oh, there we go. Okay. No skeleton, sorry. Okay, well, we found the cave, but I can't I can't exactly just jump in here. Because uh, this skeleton will, will surely take me down. So let's try to get a safe entrance. Hopefully we can get these two skeletons to just uh, start fighting each other. That's what normally happens. Pretty common. Okay, we just got to do one at a time. Uh-oh. This is a lot more than one at a time. Hold up, slow down. Okay, let's, uh, let's regen. Okay, hello. Okay, he's done. We got him. I don't have a lot of food, so I can't take a lot of damage. I think I might just have to regen and just rush my way down there. Oh, never mind. Okay, are we good? The skeleton's out of here. Nope. Okay. Well, okay, we're just gonna run through this cave. That's what I always do. You know, we're just going to rush through here. That way I now have an advantage point. Not really, because I'm on the low ground. Oh, that was not good. No, no. <laughs> I didn't, well, I didn't expect that to happen. Okay. We're safe. We're chill, right? Yes. Oh, I love being colorblind in a dark cave because I, I cannot tell which ore is which. Truthfully, it's, it's a problem. Okay, this is iron, I know. I don't think I've seen any diamonds, but hopefully pretty soon. Even though we've already got some, so we're, do we're doing good for ourselves. We're only like on day three or something. <laughs> pickaxe is about to break, so I want to explore a little bit of this cave. Be pretty sparing with how much of my pickaxe I use. Um, if there are diamonds, I'll collect them. If not, we can we can come back here, and I think there's diamonds. Perfect. I spoke too soon. <laughs> are these diamonds? Glow lichen and diamonds are hard, but glow lichen has the light, so that's, that makes it a little easier. Okay, well, this, this cabin, I think, has diamonds. Sweet. There's some redstone and gold and stuff, but diamonds is what I want. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is a big vein. <gasps> okay. That was nice. We have eight. <laughs> well, that was easy. I mean, I guess I did take a big risk coming down here, but I knew it would pay off. So, it was worth it. Check out the other side and then maybe head back up because... Well, I could make a, just a, a diamond pickaxe. I've got enough resources. So maybe we'll stay down here a bit, but I, you know what? I am running out of food. It'd probably be wise to do some fishing. Or at least wait till I have a staple farm or something. I don't know. We can make some more iron armor too. So it'll be wise to go back up to the surface. I don't think this side has any immediate diamonds. Nope. And I don't want to explore too far just yet. Oh, wait, there's diamonds right there. We have to get those. I just have to not die. Let's get this. Boom. 
Boom. Ugh, okay, I'm getting too greedy. I keep wanting to explore, but let's let's head back up while we're safe. We need we need better armor. We need more armor. We need armor, period. I don't have any armor. <laughs> I've got like two pieces. And we need new pickaxe. We definitely need food so that just in case we get in a bad situation, I can regenerate. I go through food so fast and hardcore, it's ridiculous. And unfortunately, since this is a survival island, food is going to be pretty scarce. I mean, even if I made a composter, I wouldn't really... I wouldn't exactly have many materials to compost. So, uh, I kind of just have to work with what I can. Of course, fishing, yeah, can provide... Ooh, I hear, I hear a geode. I'll have to go over there in a bit. Um, fishing, you know, it can provide anything I need, food-wise, but it's just so time-consuming and so boring. My little, like, ADHD monkey brain cannot handle more than a few minutes of it. <laughs> it's too much. Just build back up, and we'll be okay. Okay, well, uh, it's raining, but we made it. <laughs> okay, so first, let's start smelting the iron. Uh, here it is. And then I've got a decent amount of dirt, so we can start expanding this island a little more. Hopefully I can start to make a place to breed the chickens. Uh-huh, there we go. And we do have ten diamonds, so, uh... After the iron's done smelting, we'll, we'll see what we should do with all of our ores. Alright, so, while the fish smelts, let's see, armor, a pickaxe for sure. I've already got a chest plate, so we'll do the helmet, the boots, and the pants. And then besides that, the rest of the iron will go towards, finally, an axe. And then I'll save the last piece for our next mining trip, in case my iron pickaxe breaks, so I can make another. And then with the diamonds I do have, we'll start to make upgrades early. I'll have a diamond pickaxe, which I'm not going to use frequently, just for getting some obsidian if it's there. And we can have a portal, just in case we get a good nether spawn. We can check that out early. And then two pieces will for sure go towards an enchantment table. So I'll leave the other five, just to see what happens. I've already got a diamond sword. I don't really need any other diamond tools. And if I were to make a diamond helmet instead of an iron helmet... That's not really going to help me too much, or make much of a difference at all. So, we'll just save it. We're doing pretty good for, you know, only being a few days in and already having this many diamonds. But that's because there's just nothing to do on the island, except for kind of try to, like, speed run your progress. <laughs> Heck, this game has been my full-time job for the last eight years, so I think it'd be pretty embarrassing if I didn't try to get diamonds really fast. And looks like we've actually got a good amount of food, too. We're doing good for ourselves. Do I have any seeds? I don't. <gasps> Oh no. Okay. So I can't even really breed these chickens. I just I just have carrots. The island is pretty disorganized right now, but like I said before, it's okay. We can make it pretty in the future. For now, I want a good patch just so I can have some carrots going. Just so, like, hopefully pretty soon I have a food source that isn't having to fish a bunch. Because it works, but it is it is fairly annoying. Okay, we've got 18 cooked cod. We'll have a salmon. We'll have some diamonds. And let's see what else. I'm pretty much just getting prepared for everything we need for another mining trip. Because there's pretty much nothing else to do right now. But while that's happening, hopefully some of our food grows. And we start getting some enhancements. Actually, you know what I can probably do? Since I can't breed the chickens for now. And they are pretty loud and annoying. I can take some out on my own. Just for a little bit of food, that, that isn't carrots. Oh, I should have used the bones to tame the wolves. That would have been smart, but of course I'm not smart, so I didn't think about that. But whatever, it's fine. <laughs> okay, well, now we've got the food smelted. I think we've got everything we need, so, uh... Yeah, let's let's head back to the mine. Already. What do you think about this, Egbert? Yeah, he likes it. Okay, come on. There's gotta be something around here. So far, this huge cave has just been totally empty of anything. So, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Oh, never mind. Never mind! Okay, hold on. Let me eat something. Woo! I'm gonna run away. Hold on. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, good. One's burning in lava. Where's the other one? There we go. Okay. We're fine. Anything by the lava? No? Okay, cool. Oh, nice. That was... That was a good jump. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. That lava did a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, I came down here because I'm trying to look for obsidian. I just want to get enough for, like, an enchantment table if I have the resources. And then also another portal. I hear water. Is it down here? Oh. Kinda. Okay, let's, let's try to carefully 
collect some of this obsidian. I'm not sure. Let's let the gravel fall. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Okay. We have a little path here. Hopefully the, uh... Hmm. Let's see. Hopefully we can block enough of the lava and water to be safe. Let's try. So I need 10 for the portal. And then a few extra for the enchantment table. We should be able to get enough. Oh, wow. Okay. I've, uh, I've got enough. I wasn't really paying attention. So 10 for the portal. 4... For the enchantment table, that's really all I need for now, I think. Oh, no! Stay away! The creeper's fine, he's just gonna float down. Okay, even though we have the obsidian we need, I still want to explore the cave for a bit. Hopefully we can find some coal so I can make some more torches, but, uh... I do want to see if we can hopefully get some more diamonds, as well as get some more iron... Oh! 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 Where'd all these creepers come from? Hold on! Okay, am I safe? I couldn't even hear them. They must be from up there where I'm looking. Huh. Okay. Let's light this area up really fast. I do see those diamonds in the corner, so we'll, we'll collect those. But uh, let me make sure no creepers are spawning while I'm trying to mine them. That, <laughs> that, was, that was scary. I look away for one second. Suddenly five creepers spawn. Diamonds, right? Yeah, okay. The color blindness always makes it hard to tell. And there we go. Five diamonds already. That's, that's pretty good. And we have enough XP to give everything like... Simple level one enchantments. Now, I don't think I have the leather or sugar cane needed for uh, for an enchantment table to make a book. But hopefully we can maybe head to that island for a little bit. And from there we can maybe kill a couple cows. I think I do have one piece of leather. Uh, but we can maybe kill some cows, collect some sugar cane, and we should be okay. Anything over here? Please, give me a few more diamonds. I would, I'd really appreciate it. Oh! It worked. Wait, how did I miss those? Isn't this where it just was? Yeah. Oh. Huh. People probably saw them before and are yelling at me through their computer screen. I, I didn't even see them. And now there's a ton of zombies. So I wonder if there's a spawner nearby. Huh. I don't know. Where are these diamonds? They're right there. Okay, let's try to do this. Am I safe? Can I go down? I think I can go down. Right here. And we'll create a little platform just to be safe. I don't want zombies jumping on me. I think they're all under me, though. I don't know. They're so loud. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous, actually. We'll try to be safe. Wow, okay. We're getting lucky with diamonds in this world. Huh. I wonder if it's because we're on the new snapshot update thing? I don't know. I don't even know if we are. I don't know what version we're on, honestly. Oh, there is a zombie spawner. And I need to jump down to escape it. Okay. Okay, excuse me. We'll go over here. We're gonna quickly uh, get away. <laughs> there were just too many. I don't want to fight them. We can fight them later. I don't, I don't need to worry about it right now. Okay, uh, where do I go? I guess we could probably fight them. I'm just... I, I want to be really careful. It's a good start to the world so far. I don't want to mess it up. We make our way. First, we'll light this up. Okay. No more gonna spawn. Now we can get them. Okay, all the zombies just must be from the spawner room. And they just, uh... Made their way to other places, I guess. But we should be fine here. I don't think anyone can get back up. Yeah, we're good. Okay, you know what? We're gonna leave this spawner here. Just in case I want to create a farm. Because I might do that, actually. Uh, this is nice. And nothing too good from the chest, but uh, we have beetroot seeds and some horse armor, but <laughs> I don't think we're going to get a horse on our island. Maybe. Who knows? I guess anything's possible. Okay, well, here we are back on the island, and uh, I do want to check out our nether spawn, like I mentioned before. But first, I definitely, definitely want to see... Okay, we can make an enchantment table. We can make one right now, actually. I don't remember where I got books from. Maybe it was from one of those chests before. I, I don't remember. We can't really make any bookshelves, but that's okay. We're, we're doing okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to make a diamond chest plate. Uh, and then let's make diamond pants. And then we'll make diamond tools. Hopefully we get more diamonds before I need to make another pickaxe. Now, I want to just see if I can get basic level 1 enchantments that will be a little bit useful, you know? Having full prot 1 and everything isn't crazy, but you know what? It definitely does help a little bit. And we got it. Hey, in hardcore, every little bit of protection helps. I'll get on breaking just because... Oh, we got efficiency 2 on that too! I wanted on breaking on that just so it would last us longer in case we needed it. And we got sharpness 1 on the sword. Perfect. These are, these are all the enchantments I wanted. That's, that's kind of perfect. Alright, so, do I have any food besides what I have now? No, but this dog is really annoying. Do I have bones? Can I tame you? Can I finally get some pets? 
Yeah, we got some pets. There we go. All right, so we asked you to name the chicken before, but now it's time for the wolves. We have two dogs here. Let's see, are there any like twin or rhyming dog names that would be really good? I don't know. If you guys have any good dog names that would fit both the dogs, they don't have to match or correlate to each other. Let me, let me know down below. I think that'd be really cool. And of course, if you want me to continue this video to 200 days or beyond, also let me know. A lot of these 100 days videos are really fun, but some of them are in world types that I can't really continue past 100 days because we've done everything. But some of them like this, I could probably continue for a long time if I, if I really wanted to. I don't know. I'm enjoying doing these videos though. Alright, well I guess I don't really need to explore anywhere off the island because I have everything I need. Now, unfortunately, our island is still pretty small, so that, that is an issue. Alright, well, we'll eventually expand our island more, but for now, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go a little bit off the island, just to have some room. And I'm gonna make this little cobblestone platform <laughs> to put this on. I just, I don't want this to be right on the island. I know this platform is gonna be ugly, but, uh, I don't know. Nether portals are not only noisy, but they, uh, I don't know. They're annoying to walk past. Plus, sometimes some unfriendly creatures get through the cracks. And uh, I don't, I don't want to risk it at all. I just, I just want to be safe, you know. I don't know what's gonna come through here, so at least this will, uh, this will distance us a little bit. There we go. Okay, well, let's head to the Nether and see if we get a good Nether spawn. Okay. Uh. Okay. This is a good spawn so far, and the only reason it's good is because uh, nothing is trying to kill me. <laughs> that's, that's basically it. All right. Well, let's ex. Oh. Uh-oh, maybe it's not a good nether. Let's try to block this up a bit. Actually, let's just block the whole source of the lava. That'll be easier. Okay, well, we may be on fire, but uh, let's let's look around. I don't know, maybe there's something good. If there's something good, I might check it out right away, but if not, we can uh, explore more later. I'm mostly just curious to see, uh, do we have any bastions around here? And also, are there any strongholds, or sorry, nether fortresses around here? That's all I care about, pretty much. Nothing over here. Yeah, well, I've explored around for a bit. I can't seem to find anything, so let's just head back to the island. Okay, so we're almost out of food, but we do have our boat. So I believe when we initially went out exploring, what direction did we go? I think so, right? I don't know. Let's go this direction. I'm going to choose to go this direction. I think what happened was we saw the shipwreck. I don't remember where it was. Let's just explore a bit, but what I want to do is I want to find some land, and after we've done that, I want to see if I can collect some dirt. We could obviously collect dirt underwater, but that's going to be a big pain. I would like to collect some on-land dirt, so then we can take it back to our island, so we can actually finally build something. I don't know. We're almost 10 days in, and I don't even have a house. So here we go. Some nice, beautiful land. This will, this will serve us well. <laughs> we'll just have to pretty much level each island around here, and I uh, hope, hope my shovel can keep up with it and then from there we can expand the island later on pretty i like these shaders all right well uh let's start leveling some land and seeing how much my shovel can take well i don't know what's gonna break first actually my shovel or my brain from losing its sanity from this slow pace of dirt breaking i'm spoiled i'm so used to efficiency five tools all right well i've got quite a bit of dirt I think I'm okay for now, because right now I'm only going to work on the top level of the island. Eventually, I do want to sort of work our island into the seafloor where we go down layer by layer underwater like this, but that's going to require a lot of resources, and I also probably want to use a mix of dirt, sand, and clay. So it's not all dirt. We'll work on that in the future. Right now, we're only going to do the top layer, and this is definitely enough dirt to make quite a large island. Now, while we're over here, I am going to spend a little bit of time just collecting some resources and exploring a bit because I do want to start building stuff. <laughs> like, we're pretty far in and I haven't built anything yet. So uh, I want to get a little bit of a starter house. It might be a little bit of a starter shack. But just, just something. Something we can live in. I also want to create a little pen for our chickens. I'd like to create a little farm area. And just stuff like that, you know? I think it'll make it look a lot nicer. I want to make this pretty big, pretty awesome. Obviously, whatever we build right now doesn't have to stay on our island forever. It can just be temporary, you know, as we improve, we'll eventually build more and more stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to get a little house going, some little pens, stables, and if we make a large enough grass area, we can hopefully have some other mobs start to spawn. I know it depends on what Minecraft registers the biome as, 
but I think we can still get some animals to spawn during the daytime. I mean, heck, there were chickens there in the first place, so hopefully we can get more chickens. Plus, if we get things like leads, we can always uh, bring animals from this island to our island. It'll be a little bit of a journey, but, you know, we can bring them through the water. It can be done. So if I really want to do it, I could. But for now, I think we're in a pretty good place. I'm just going to kill what I can, collect what I can while I'm here, and then we can take it back to our island. Like I said, this is supposed to be like survival deserted island, so I don't want to just like live on the land. That kind of defeats the whole purpose, I think. But it would be way more difficult to really do much of anything at all just using our island, and I think it would make it a little boring. Collect those roses. I think that could be pretty. We can put it by our house. Ooh, and here's a cave. If Oh, let's be careful. Okay. Um, I was just going to say, if there's any coal like right around here, I might take it because... I've had a hard time finding coal. And there is some right there. Let's try to land. Ooh, we got it. Okay. I also hear a lot of zombies. I wonder if we're near a zombie spawner. We already have that one at home, but hey, I'll still I'll still loot the chests. You know what? I was right. <laughs> you can always tell because if there's like one or two zombies growling. Oh. Wow, there's no chests. Uh okay. Well, that's a little disappointing, I guess. There wasn't really much utility in that for us. Okay, well, I'm almost out of food. Well, I have this pork but it's not cooked so uh let's head back to our island and get things expanded you know what i haven't made in a while an automatic cooked chicken farm i always used to make that first thing in my world i wonder i wonder if that'd be a smart thing to make usually what i do in my worlds is just raid a couple villages nearby since they spawn everywhere after 1.14 but uh i haven't been able to find any yet so it'll probably be hard for us i also have no idea what the coordinates of my island are so um, I'm just gonna guess and hope for the best. <laughs> ah, here we are. I lost it, but <laughs> we found it. I've been looking around for this. How are you doing, my dogs? I don't have a name for you yet. I'm sorry. So right now, you're just the dogs. Okay, well, now that we've got things set up, we've got a couple things to do. First is, I'm gonna plant a little bit of sugar cane right here just so we have it growing. We will eventually need a full enchantment table, so we've got this. And now, it is time to expand our island. So I think what I wanna do is build out this island first, and then once we do that, get a starter house going. And then once we have a starter house, I wanna go back down in the mine and find wherever the heck that, uh, that zombie spawner was. I don't know if it'll be super efficient with only, um, one spawner. But I would like to make a little bit of an XP farm. I think it'd be good. Plus, we can use the rotten flesh to feed our dogs treats. <laughs> I mean, the quicker option would just be to rush supplies, go to the end, and immediately from there, try to uh, build an enderman farm. But I'm not I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to figure out how to do this because I still want to keep an island shape. So I think what I might do... Actually, let's just go out. We'll start with a frame. A general shape for the island. And uh, from there... We can make sure it's good. We don't have enough dirt to fill it in. We can collect it later. Okay, well, I'd say our island is starting to look pretty nice, but it looks like my plan worked. We do indeed have other mobs spawning. He just kind of came out of nowhere when when I was placing dirt. So, uh... Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna keep him. But I don't want to keep that ugly farm in the middle of the island. So it does look like I need a little bit more dirt to finish this. And I think I want to do that before I make my house. Because once I have this little part of the island finished, I mean, obviously, we'll expand it in the future. But I think what I'd like to do is just, uh... I don't know, kind of like map it out. Like, fill this in with dirt and then map out in my head like, okay, I want my house here. I want a farm there. I want some animals here. Stuff like that. Well, we've got the boat. So, uh, okay. Well, let's just head back to this island, or at least one of these islands. Grab a couple more stacks of dirt, and we should be good to go. I want to try to find an area where I can take dirt and not make everything look ugly. I guess it doesn't matter because we're not living here, but... I don't know. I hate, I hate making my world look not nice. <laughs> okay, we've got the dirt. Let's get it placed, and then we can figure out how I want to organize this island. I gotta be careful, I don't want my shovel to break. I've got some decent enchantments, so, uh, after this, maybe I'll find some diamonds first, uh, so that we can hopefully repair this, and also get enough iron so that we can finally have an anvil here. I could really use one. Okay, so I think first what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll have my house in this little corner back here. So on this side, just for now, it's not gonna look the prettiest, but I'm gonna place all of these carrots, 
and hopefully by the time they all grow, we'll finally have a decent carrot farm going for us. I'll just try to keep it on the side of the island, but we've got up to 20 carrots now, so I think once these all grow again, we should have around a stack, and at that point, we can replant the farm, and we'll also have a good supply of carrots permanently feeding us, but I don't even know. I'm not really spending a ton of time on the island to even let the carrots grow, so I'm not exactly sure. I've also got these pork chops to cook still, so we'll do that, and then we'll have some raw mutton, so I have, I have enough food to last me a little while, I guess. All right, so heading back down here, and like I said, what I made this little staircase to the mine, but um, yeah, I want to see if we can get a couple diamonds just so I can repair, like, my shovel or maybe make a new one you know whatever i need to do just in case i need it and then also i want enough iron for an anvil i checked all my chests and i i'm smelting everything i can right now i only have about nine pieces of iron so we need a good amount hopefully we can find it in this mine but if not that's okay i don't really know where i should be going i forget there's probably lots of iron i've missed just because the the, co the colors are hard for me <laughs> i wish i had normal eyes but i don't so i'll just have to be very careful like there's iron there i didn't see I'll be able to find it. Ah, there's some up there. It's hiding from me. <clears throat> oh! Okay. Uh. That saved me. Thank you, Creeper, for your sacrifice. Uh, let's keep going through here. <laughs> oh, well, this is an iron, but it's a little bit better. <laughs> oh, is it only two? Oh, we got more. Okay, good. Okay, well, hey, four diamonds is good. That's enough to repair my shovel. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Oh, okay, we're safe. Anything down here? Nope. Oh, swim. Go, go, go. Wow, I'm really good at uh, getting lost. I hear lava. Should I dig towards it? Oh. That worked. Hmm. Okay. There's a cave. Anything good? Go around here and see. It's a nice big cave, but I don't see... Oh, I don't see any ores, but there is a mine shaft, so we can explore that in one second. First, we have to see what mysteries are in this cave. Before I go up there, I want to explore these lower levels and just see if there's anything. I doubt there's much, but hey, there might be something. Okay, I want to explore just a bit of this cave before we go to the mine shaft. I just want to see what there is. Okay, we gotta run. Woo! Everything's out to get us. There's a lot of skeletons around here. This isn't good. I just want to get them to start fighting. <laughs> and then I'll be safe. Oh boy, this was not a good direction to come. Okay. We're going to just have to take them down one at a time. Oh boy, I really I really got myself in a pickle here. Let's see if I can just get a creeper to... Yeah, there we go. That was easy. I'm just going through this whole cave quick, lighting it up, and then we'll go back through the other direction. Because I did pass a few good ores. Okay, we're at the end. I just wanted to light it up so that once we kill all the mobs, we can prevent more from spawning, just to help keep us safe so that we can mine in peace. Okay, cool. I'm using all my coal on torches. I need to get more. Here we go. Oh, it's only one. Oh, that's okay. How much iron do we have? Okay, we, oh, we only have 21? I really thought I'd been mining more than that. Because for the three iron blocks, we need 27 right there. And then we need a few extra. But I've already got some iron at home, so I think we should have enough now to make an anvil. However, I'll still grab a little bit extra, just in case I need more iron in the future. Like if I need to build a piston for anything, or I don't know. Sometimes iron comes in handy. Remember where I was supposed to be exploring. I know there was an area I wanted to check out, but oh, I'll go the other way. <laughs> Before the mine shaft. But I don't remember where that was. I've kind of just been running in circles around this huge cave. Probably stop ignoring the gold and collect it just in case I need to make golden apples. Okay, well, let's let's just head to the mine shaft. There might be some good stuff in the chests. Who knows? Plus, maybe we can get a name tag for our dogs. Even though I don't have a name for them. At least we'll have the name tag. Oh gosh, there's a huge cave. Okay, is there anything good that I should go and get? Or should I just stay where I'm at? I don't think there's any. I don't think. We'll get there. It's just going to turn into a big mining trip, I think. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's like right in the middle of the mine shaft. Here, let's, uh... Oh, I need to grab the fully grown ones. Oh, come on, we can get it. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to collect all these blocks now. I will collect a few just in case I want them for a small project, but I'm going to save the coordinates of this location, and I could come back here 
if I want any of these blocks. I really like amethyst. It's really, really fun block to build with. You know what? I changed my mind. Let's just let's just collect the whole thing now. I'll try not to break the the blo the blocks where the buds are sprouting from, but it's probably gonna happen a little bit. Well, I came to the top of the amethyst to break it from the top first, but uh, yeah, let's 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 grab some of this stuff. <laughs> I haven't had a water bucket this whole time. I should I should keep that. Ooh, Bane of Arthropods. No, I don't need that. The only reason I'm collecting all of this is because I wonder if we can collect enough calcite and amethyst to make a nice house out of it. I've built using the two blocks before. You can actually make some really, really cool looking houses, so hopefully we get enough. I'll see what we can do. I do know there's another geode way earlier in the mine, closer to the island, so I can always go there if I need to, um, but we'll see what... I also don't have much inventory space, but we'll, we'll try our best. Okay, well, I've been exploring around here for a while. I have no idea where I am or how to get back, so I'm just going to dig up and hopefully find my way home. My coordinates are only a few hundred blocks away from zero, zero, so I don't think I'm... But I've been looking around this mine shaft for a while. Uh, you know, I mined the geode, but I haven't really found anything else. I couldn't find a single mine shaft chest, and therefore no diamonds from there, no golden apples, no food, and no name tags. But I did get the one name tag from uh, the chest. So, at least we have something. <laughs> so, let's just head back, and hopefully it's it's not too hard to find our way home. Alright, well, we didn't come up too far from the island, so I'm gonna swim back, and we can sort of recount everything we collected. I'd say that was a pretty successful mining trip, though. I'm excited. The world has definitely been going good so far. What is this? I come back and we have not one, not two, but three sheep? I was honestly kind of hoping for more cows, but you know what? I'll take the sheep. And oddly enough, according to Minecraft, we are in the forest biome. So I wonder if I've just, like, created a forest? Or, okay, now it says we're in the ocean. Weird. Okay, so that small little patch of land we spawned near, even though we spawned right over there, but this one with the chickens on it, must have just been designated as forest this entire time. Meaning that all we needed to do was expand this platform a bit and, you know, It'll keep spawning mobs, so I'll try my best to not build too much right where the mobs are. Like, I still want more mobs to spawn. I guess I only need two of each, but I definitely want more sheep. That'd be cool. And more cows. Or at least a way to breed them would be nice. Right now, I've got not a lot of food. I've got some carrots, but that's about it. Okay, so as we finish smelting our iron here and uh, repairing our shovel, Right before I make the starter house, I think I do want to try the calcite and amethyst. I think that'll look really nice. Um, but before we do that, I do want to go back to the island, I think in this direction, because I'm pretty sure this direction and a little bit in that direction, there was a dark oak forest. But that dark oak wood is going to look really nice with this house. The oak wood itself is nice. It works. It's just a little bit too light of a color, honestly. But I've made a house like this before, so I'm just going to look back at... How do I make this? Oh, I always do it upside down. There we go. Okay, I did only need three. I never know. I, I've i been playing this game full time for so long now, and I never remember how much iron I need for an anvil. Actually, I don't even know if it's worth it to repair my shovel. I didn't realize my shovel itself was only efficiency one. Let's just make another shovel and we can combine them if we want. <laughs> that's, that's better. We'll leave this other one and I'll do something with it eventually. The boat with me. And I think that's it. Fixed on my island a bit. I don't know where I put my bed, so I'm just going to make my own. <laughs> Okay, we'll sleep, and then we'll head over there so that we can get some dark oak wood for this starter house. Well, I'm going farther than I remember. I don't think this is the same dark oak biome, but it looks like there is one, I think, right? Yeah. But wow, look how look how gorgeous this area is. I love these giant cliffs overlooking the sea. This is magnificent. Wow. Minecraft is so gorgeous sometimes, and I'm so glad I recently upgraded my graphics card and I can handle this. We went from an RTX 2070 to an RTX 4070, and uh, it's great. There was a few years there where graphics cards were super expensive, and that's why I didn't upgrade for a long time, but thankfully, they got a little better. Next, I need to upgrade my processor. That's, that's actually gonna help for YouTube. <laughs> but anyways, let's just spend some time collecting some wood. Uh, I really don't know how much I need, so I'd rather collect too much then not enough so we'll start getting all right we're back to the island i've got a few stacks of wood so i think it's okay and uh let's build this house unfortunately i don't have the replay mod right now to make the pretty montages i normally do but uh you know what we can still figure something out i'm not sure where i want to make this but maybe i'll cut down these trees first just get a good uh you know clean slate to build this and we'll see we'll see what we can do i don't know
Well, we've spent some time building and moving some stuff around, and our island's looking better than ever. Let's try to fix this area. I don't want it to be sand. I want it to be dirt. Well, I'll get more dirt. But anyways, here is our house for now. I tried to add as much detail as I could with what little blocks I had, but I really like it. We mostly just used the three blocks of calcite, uh, dark oak, and amethyst. We have a couple pots from some clay and flowers. But yeah, I just, uh, you know, broke the chests. Move all the stuff in here that I have valuable. And here we are. We've also got tons of chickens. So uh, I need to get some seeds and make little pens for all these animals. There's there's just too many. Oh, I just made a chicken pen, but we've got this guy. Uh, huh. None of this is really valuable, but also I don't have emeralds. So here's what we're going to do. Sorry, buddy. You know, we're going to keep the llamas. We're going to keep them. But for now, just so we don't... uh. We don't die from them. We're going to keep them on this side of the house. And then other side of the house will be the chickens. Come on, chickens. Come follow me. There we go. If the llamas hate me forever, well, we can we can find another place for them. But for now, we're going to keep the chickens in here. Honestly, I don't even need them. Chickens are probably the least useful mob for me right now. I probably need more sheep and uh, cows, but it's all right. Oh, you know what? I only see this one sheep. The others must have despawned. Oh, no, never mind. They're over here. Okay. That was confusing. Well, I won't make a sheep pen for now, but honestly, I'm just glad the chickens are contained because they're loud. They're noisy. They're, uh... Hey, 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 No, 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 no. No! No, sit down! Okay, well, we lost one. This llama can stay, though. He's the good one. Oh, no, maybe not. Dogs, don't kill him. <laughs> But yeah, this house is uh, pretty good, and we've got a good source of food, so I'm going to keep these carrots in my inventory just for now, just so just so we have them. Alright, well, with our resources, here's a couple things we can do. First off is take the charcoal we made and smelt the gold so we can make some golden apples. I only have four apples, but hey, it's alright. And then I've got an iron helmet and iron boots, so we'll finally make diamond just to upgrade our armor a bit. And with this, we should be stacked enough to head to the nether and see what we can do there. Now that we've got a nice looking and fairly large base, you know, it's time to move up in the world. And by moving up in the world, I mean we're going to go to the nether once we get these items made. And uh, we're going to find some blazes, collect some blaze powder, hopefully collect some potion making materials as well. Like slow falling, that would be really nice. And then we'll also hopefully find a warped forest biome and take down some endermen so that we can make our way to the end. You know, we're just about on day 24 here pretty soon, you know, and then from there... I don't know what we're going to do. We're definitely going to defeat the Ender Dragon, though. And then hopefully, right afterwards, we will, uh... We can explore some end cities and get ourselves some nice armor, weapons, tools, and hopefully an elytra. I don't really need it since we're most staying on this island, but you know what? It's, uh... It's okay. I should also mention, this house design is fairly strongly inspired by a YouTuber's house. Their name is Another CF. I don't know if they make videos anymore, but I figured I'd give credit because I found some inspiration for this build. I kind of combined my house and their design as well. I wish I had more flowers, though. We definitely need to collect more. Thankfully, this house is mostly built on the ocean biome and not the forest biome, which is this direction. So I will expand this more and hopefully we can get some more forest animals to spawn. Maybe more sheep, more cows. I'd like two cows. That'd be nice. Because we're really going to need the leather for an enchantment table. But also, an enchantment table... Might not be needed if I can get good enough diamond armor, weapons, and tools from the end cities. Depending on how many we find. Here's the final golden apple we can make for now. It's day 24, by the way. So, let's head to the nether. And what's nice about the nether is we can uh, get some nether gold from there to make more golden apples. Actually, I'm going to keep this one apple in my chest. And, and, before we go, let's, uh... Let's just place a lot of saplings randomly around here. That way we can break all these trees when we get back. They probably won't be grown, but who knows? Maybe some will. And uh, we can get some apples from that, because we're going to need some apples for fighting this dragon. We'll just make this tree island over here. Okay, that's that's probably overkill. <laughs> oh, well, here's one sheep. There you go, buddy. Who won't have such a good fate? So, nether gold collecting for sure. Maybe some quartz for the XP if I see him. But we need to find ourselves some of the nether structures. I guess a piglin bastion would be cool, and we could try to raid it. I don't know, it might be kind of hard. But uh, definitely, a nether fortress is what we need. Let's ask some of the locals. You know where nether fortress is? Hey, I'm talking to you. After quite a bit of searching, we finally have one. And 
it's right by this warped forest, so hopefully we can get some Endermen afterwards. Well, it's pretty far away, so I think I'm just gonna have to, uh, build and hope that a ghast doesn't shoot me down. Please, don't let there be any ghasts. I just have a feeling a ghast is gonna spawn right now and take me out. I just know it. Sorry, I can't speed bridge. I'm no Bed Wars player. Okay, here we are. This wasn't bad. So obviously we're gonna go through and I'm gonna raid the chests, of course. And if we can find, you know, any nether wart for potions, I'll take that. But mostly I'm just gonna try to get some blaze rods. We don't even need a lot. We only need a few. Like, just six blaze rods will get us the 12 blaze powder we need, but we'll probably get a little bit extra. Ooh. Being in this biome, the atmosphere is so much different than in this one. I kind of like it better. Collect this just so we have enough to uh, grow our own nether wart if we want. And let's look for more chests. Ooh, we're taking damage here. It's okay. We'll, we'll be good. We'll be okay. Let's regen real fast. Okay. No, no, no. Golden apple time. Ooh, there we go. Man, they just do too much damage to me right now. Let's let them shoot me first. There we go. I'm just gonna have to do one at a time. There we go. Come on. Okay, three. Woo! There we go. Got 12 blaze powder so far. Just a couple bit more, we should be okay. Yeah. I'll get a little bit more. We've got 16. Oh, they're shooting me from all the way over there? Oh, gosh. I think we're okay. How do they keep getting me? Why? Why are they attacking me from all the way over there? What the heck? Man, they really don't want me to take their rods. Dang. Carrots as a food source suck. I need to... I don't know, I need to get that chicken farm going, or I need to make a meat farm of some sort. Because this, this is not going to cut it. Okay, well, you know what? We've got we've got 20 blaze powder. We'll probably get one or two more on the way back. So, uh, that should be good for now. Here's our bridge. Can I just... Let's do this. Ah, oh, there we go. We made it safe. Okay, now that we've done that, I was about to head home, but I've still got food, so... Uh, actually, maybe I should go that. No, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go back around, uh, just to be safe and avoid this fortress. Mostly, I want to avoid the fortress because of all the blazes. But, uh, we need to go to that warped forest and get some ender pearls. A little lost. I'll find my way back, though. Don't, don't worry. Okay, now that we're close, we should be good. There's a few endermen over there. One right here. Let's just, uh, get what we can. It should be pretty easy to kill them, since we don't have fire aspect. In my personal experience, fire aspect actually makes it harder to kill Endermen, even though fire aspect usually kills things faster. Just because when they're burning, they're so scared that they're frantically teleporting around all over the place, and they don't know where to go. So, uh, yeah, this helps control them a little bit. <laughs> see, that was easy. Let's see if we can get the achievement. Come on, Ghast. Yeah. Ooh, and a ghast here, right? Yeah. Nice. I will be collecting some gunpowder as well if I see creepers because I want to take some gunpowder and, of course, some uh, sugar cane, turn it into paper, and bring firework rockets with me just in case I do find an elytra. Uh, it'll be nice to have the firework rockets ready just so I can teleport or, or fly around. Not teleport around. But just so I can fly around and find the portal easily. Alright, well, we've got pretty much everything we need, so let's head back to the overworld and get ourselves prepared for this dragon. Here we are. Wow, I love this island. I think this house looks really nice. I feel like it really works for this island space. It maybe lacks a little bit of decoration and detail on these white walls, but maybe if I got some diorite to put periodically throughout here, it would make it look really nice. Do I have any? Unfortunately, I've really only got calcite, but you know what? That's fine. Alright, so normally I do like to have slow falling potions, but I'm not sure if that's in the cards for us today. The only reason I say that is because in order to get slow falling potions, we need phantoms, and uh, that can take a while. We have to spend many days in the overworld without sleeping. I'm not 100% certain, and if anyone knows, you can correct me in the comments section if I'm wrong, but in my experience, it seems like only days not slept in the overworld count. So even though I just spent a lot of days without sleeping, 
it was in the nether, so I don't know if that counts. That's that's always been my experience. I don't know if that's true or if I'm just making that up, but that's at least what it seems like. But then again, I always seem to have trouble trying to get phantoms to spawn, no matter what. So we can just use my water bucket strategy. The water bucket strategy is pretty much just what it sounds like. It's kind of stupid, but it's just where you take two water buckets, make an infinite water source in the end, and then just completely cover the end island in water. That way, if you get shot up, by the dragon, uh, you can just comfortably land in water and you don't have to worry about taking fall damage. It's it's pretty easy and it's a lot easier than making potions. Also going to break as many trees as I can. Oh good, they're just now starting to grow as we come back. But uh, I need more apples. So hopefully the trees drop a few and then we can start to get prepared for this fight. But golden apples are definitely gonna come in handy. Especially since I've only got like prop one, which isn't bad, but like, it's not great. I also don't have a bow. Or any arrows or anything like that. So I'll have to see how many I can make. Okay, we've got a few arrows. Maybe I can get more. Fortunately, I've not been breeding these chickens enough. Let's see if I can breed more and then take down the adults. That might be a good idea. Okay, now I've got to be very careful to only hit the adults and not the children. We got a good amount of feathers from that. Now, now I need to get some flint. Oh god, all these trees are growing right here. This is great. Wow, <laughs> I must have just got back at the perfect moment where the trees... We're just about to grow. Ah, wonderful. Here's some gravel. I just have to get there without dying. Okay, I've got 10 feathers, so I want 10 flint at least. Maybe a bit more. Oh, why does he have fire aspect? Huh? What? That's not fair. All right, well, we've got a little more extra flint. That's okay. Okay, you know what? That's that's a good amount of arrows. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. And then power one, it's 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 something, you know? Well, I just enchanted a few bows so that I can combine them all, but uh I don't know where my anvil is. Did I lose it to a creeper or something? Was I not paying attention? I have no idea. I don't think it's in my chests. Yeah, I think I somehow lost my anvil. Well, that's that's okay, I guess. <laughs> I was like, eh, I could just enchant a few bows. Like, the XP doesn't matter because we're gonna get a lot of XP after this dragon fight, but uh now I just have some extra bows. But you know what? It's it's fine. No no worries. Oh, huh, my anvil didn't like fall through a hole or anything. So I have no idea what happened to it. Probably lost it to a creeper. Or maybe it was like on the ground as an entity and I just never picked it up. That's my fault. Okay, well, let's get some food, get all the resources we need, and we, sh we should be good to go, pretty much. I do want to make sure I bring pretty much all the food I have since I don't have a lot of one type of food. Um, only because, you know, it, it, it can be pretty difficult with end cities sometimes. Like, you never really know how much time you're going to spend in the end. I could be there for quite a long time. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we spend days, like up to 10 or 20 days almost, in the end, just looking for cities. So, uh, yeah, got to make sure that I, uh, I've got enough food. Thankfully, you can eat chorus fruit, so if you run out of food, you always have that, but it teleports you slightly in an unpredictable location, and uh, also, it's, it's just not a great food source, so I don't love to use it. Okay, I think now we should be pretty good on the food. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, we're good on the food. Then we can breed some more sheep just to be safe. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm not going to keep carrots as the main food source right now, just because, uh, they're, they're not too reliable. <laughs> Water buckets. And then, of course, I'll need some building blocks just to build up in case I need to. Well, I think I have everything. I don't think there's anything else I need. Um, if there is something else I need, uh, I guess good luck to me. So, uh, hmm. is there anything else? I guess I'll bring the blaze powder in case I need more. But, uh, no. I think that's it. So let's do this. And, uh, well, let me get a bow first. That's what I need. <laughs> and we'll just bring some wood for good measure in case I want to craft anything. Okay, which way are we heading? This way. And we're off. All right, well, we're, we're pretty close to uh, the base, but right around here, this little mountain we're on, uh, this is where my eyes of Ender start going down into the ground. So, uh, oh, actually, can we access maybe a cave through here? No, I don't think this is a good route to take. But, uh, yeah, we should be pretty close. So, let's just, uh, dig around. And we sh should be able to find it, hopefully, pretty easily. But I want to get rid of... I want to avoid the water. Let's just try to go straight into a cave. 
Ooh, I did not bring torches, unfortunately. Hopefully we can find it. Oh, once again, digging straight down works for me. I love that I just dropped straight into it. Awesome. Everyone that says don't dig straight down in Minecraft, nah, I always do, and I'm almost always fine. It's very rare that I actually fall into lava, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, where, where, where are we going? Golden bread, of course I'll take that. And I'll take the iron because apparently I don't have an anvil anymore. I have no idea where it is or what happened to it, but you know what? It's, it's okay. Uh-huh, the library. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't know if that book is really what I want. And I'm not a big fan of knockback, but I'll take the books and, of course, the armor trim. I always forget that armor trims are a thing. The only time I've ever really worked with armor trims is right after they came out and made the video where we collected all of them, which was like torture, by the way. But, uh, it worked. Silk touch, okay, that's that's nice. And, ooh! You know what? It has piercing, but I'll take it, just in case. We, we might get everything we need from end cities, but just in case, I want to have these really good books. Depends how many end cities we find. If we only find one or two... Oh... Now that I think about it, I remember what I was missing. I wanted to bring with me my gunpowder and sugar cane so that I could uh, fly around the end with my elytra, but I guess, I guess that's not happening. Well, here we are. You know what? Finding end cities, more end cities after the initial one is going to be so much easier if I have those materials. So let's actually mark down our coordinates, go back to our house. It, it, we're only like a thousand blocks away. We'll collect our gunpowder, collect our paper, make as many firework rockets as we can, and then come back here. Alright, well, let's let's do it. Oh, this is a good spawn. Alright, first priority is definitely 100% get an infinite water source going, and before I do anything, fill up this entire island with water. <laughs> Doesn't need to be the entire island, but a good amount. All right, I think we should be good with the buckets. So uh, now we can get these pillars down. Which I also need water. Yeah. Can I get some of these from up here? Uh-huh. Maybe I can get most of them. Ooh, that that would that was hurting. Okay, uh, let's be careful. We have to be very careful here. I don't, I don't know if he can get us from up here. Oh. Okay, time to jump down. I don't care. Oh, that was close. Okay, uh, <laughs> that was not fun. Uh, I just I had to play. It's it's what I had to do. I had to do it. I didn't have any other option. Let's be very careful here. That was not, that was too close. All right, we should have all of them. So time to kill this boy. Ooh, no. The only bad part about the water is it really does slow you down. Okay, we're good. And we land in the water. Oh. <laughs> hey, if it works. Try to walk around the dragon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit it fast enough, though. Nope. There we go. Finally! I'm getting good with the shots, though. My... My bow game was on point today. I just couldn't get in with the sword fast enough, but uh, I was lacking a bit there. Whew, that was a bit intense, but uh, we did it. It took longer than usual. <laughs> I think because I'm a bit weaker. All right, let's see what awaits us in the end. Hopefully, hopefully it's end cities, but who knows? Sometimes it's glitched end cities and we don't get anything. It's happened more than once. All right, so render distance up all the way, and I don't... Let's go to the edge of the island. I don't see any... 
Is that maybe an end city? Or if, I can't tell if it's an end city or if it just looks weird. So with shaders disabled. Oh! That is most definitely an end city. Right next to the portal. Awesome. I love I love when we have good luck. <laughs> yeah, I like these shaders better, but uh, the fog is definitely going to prevent us finding end cities. So I've got to be careful about that. All right, I went through some shader packs. And for now, we're switching to super duper vanilla. Only because... Uh, look at this. Yeah. It just, you know, it adds, it it makes it look so cool. We have a black hole. Um, but also, this is just one of the shader packs that there's not really fog in the end. You know, I can see far away. There's a little bit, but enough that I can still see. This shader pack, although it looks really good in the end, I mean, this looks amazing to me. Uh, it doesn't look so great in the overworld, so that's, that's why I'm not using it. Okay, well, hopefully there's some good stuff in here for us. We'll have to see. I also will probably need to collect some shulkers just because... I'll need some dang storage to get us through. Ooh, I like how the end blocks look a little glassy. The purple. That's cool. Oh, why do they keep teleporting? Okay, you know what? I think we're just going to have to make our way up there. Okay, let's make our way to the ship first, I guess. I don't have any uh, ender pearls. Well, I guess we're going to have to try to levitate over now. Uh-oh, please. Oh, good. I, I really needed a shulker to hit me there. But now we can't have any others hit me or else I'm screwed. Oh, boy. We've got a lot coming for us right now. We've got a lot coming for us. Okay. Woo! We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. That's all that matters. Okay, we got him. Ooh, the obsidian's reflective too. Oh, it actually is a little see-through. That's what it is. I think. Okay, I'm going to also just upgrade my armor as we get it. <laughs> oh, ho! Oh, prod forward breaking three. That's what I'm talking about. And we got the Elytra, of course. So I need to make some shulker shells. Or, sorry, shulker boxes. But I need more shells. So can you just not do all these games with me can i just take you out thanks for you there you are where'd you go this oh where are you where are you where is he i need to kill him oh he's over there okay oh, i wonder if he's under the ship well we can get more shulkers later for now we have our freedom and this is going to make raiding these a lot easier. Look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Ooh, okay. It's pretty okay stuff. Oh, you know what? I always make this mistake. I could just break these chests and use that to make shulker boxes. Okay. You know what? That's just not going to happen. We have to get out of here. Oh, we did it. Somehow. And now, okay. For one second, let me just fly away. <laughs> Just so I can do this. Just so we can chill. Whew, okay, we have this. And then... Perfecto. Okay, let's do that. And now we can actually have some storage space. Perfect. How did this follow us all the way over here? These things are crazy. Oh my gosh. Just give up already. You're not going to get me. I'm too good. Okay, now that we have that, let's raid the rest of this. I'm just trying to get in and get out before they can hit us. Ooh, even better, we got mending this time. And protection three pants, but they have cursive binding, so uh, I don't wanna I don't wanna accidentally put those on. Maybe that's a curse of vanishing, actually. I think I was looking too fast. Whatever. Anywho, this chest plate's got mending. Chests here? No, there's not. Okay. Well, I'm pretty confident that I got all of the chests, so uh, let's just search for more end cities. We'll just fly very slowly, being very conservative with our rocket usage. Slowly drift like this. Hopefully we'll find some. I'll also do some walking instead of just flying, because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to only fly and maybe break my elytra. Unless we get more than one, then we'd be in good shape. But I'm not going to bet on that happening, so I'm going to stay safe just in case. Ah, uh, here's one. Oh, two? Yeah? Anyways, back to normal FOV. Let's see if there's anything. Actually, I, I think these these singular ones, I don't often have luck finding loot, but maybe there is some. Uh, iron, no, 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 no. Ooh, armor trims, yes. Beetroot, no. Okay, in and out. And let's go. Whew, we did it. Okay, um, ooh, fire aspect and sharpness four. <gasps> Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to use that. 
Um, efficiency, a, per a perfect shovel. Completely perfect shovel. We're going to use that. Okay. Uh, more prop for shirts. And another end city because we're just that good, I guess. Please have a boat. I need another, I need another elytra ASAP. I don't think it has one. Dang. Well, that's okay. Hopefully we can find more pretty soon. We'll still explore this one, I guess. Starting from the top. Curse of Vanishing. I'll still use it. That doesn't matter. It's hardcore. If I vanish, we're done anyways. Aw, oh, that's it. That was pretty poopy. I think that might be the only chest in here. Maybe there's a chest in there. But I'm not going to bet on it. Nope. Okay, well, hey! It's still an entity. We still got one chest. That's alright. Um, I don't think there's any more around here. No, definitely not. Alright, I was going this way. So I'll fly this way a little bit longer. But I want to chill on the elytra. So once we reach a big island, like maybe that one right in front of me. Oh! I was going to say once we reach a big island, let me just walk. But you know what? <laughs> if we've got another entity, uh, let's do it. Let's just be quick with this one because I don't want to bore you guys too much. Well, uh, I guess we have two end cities to quickly raid. Okay, are there any more? Just these two. Okay, I think there's just these two, so we're just going to get these and get out of here. I'm not worried about the dragon head. I'm not going to use it anyways. I never use it. <laughs> we just got to get in, kill these guys, and get out. Come on. Let's get him. Get him. Oh, yeah. Okay, Elytra. Good, let's swap so we don't break, and let's look cool. Ooh! Okay, okay. Yeah! We're getting good stuff, we're getting good stuff. Okay, one dense city down, let's head to this one. Please don't be any more, honestly. If there's more in cities, I'm just gonna be tempted to raid them, but I... I think I have enough. <laughs> really, I, I think I'm good here. Still haven't gotten any pants, though. I'd like some pants, honestly. Pants, pants are usually nice. Okay, I have no use for a third elytra. Two's enough for me, so we're good. Uh, I guess I'll get... Okay, here we go. This is the last one. Whew, we did it. Now let's get the heck out of here. Just in case. Oh, there's one right here. Never mind. I was going to say I'll start heading back towards zero, zero, but let's see if I can land it. Oh, no. I tried. I need an enderman. Where is there one? Why are there no Endermen? I just need one. That's all I need. Um, were they all dead? That's weird. Let's see if I can land it then. We'll try now. Oh, well, that one worked. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Let's head back to our house. And just kind of recount everything we got, everything we have. And just see where we're at, I guess. All right, well, here is everything. I took off all my armor just so I can sort of look at what's the best. I think that is the best. I didn't really get any pants. Um, The mending, for sure, the best. Four helmet, mending, blast protection. We'll take the protection four. Best shovel I've already got. We didn't get any axes. As for a sword, we've got the best one. And we already have efficiency five on breaking three, so we can combine it with the mending, and we'll be all set course we can make some more golden apples i think we're in a pretty good place we didn't quite get the like perfect armor and weapons i was hoping for that happens sometimes but you know what we still got we still got some pretty good stuff and there's not really much else to like combine that i can make better but for now this is this is pretty good i'm i'm pretty content with this plus we have more diamonds and more xp to like you know improve this whole thing and a good amount of fireworks but not a good source of gunpowder or consistent sugar cane, which we'll have to work on. All right, since I've been wanting to keep all my builds on this island, or, you know, I can expand this and create a second island, maybe. I, uh, I don't know how logical a creeper farm would be. Like, it'd be nice, I could use the gunpowder for firework rockets, but then again, how many firework rockets are we going to need, uh, living on an island? <laughs> I don't know, I don't even know if we'll need to travel that much. But what I do want to do is, with the XP I have, try to perfect the remaining armor and weapons that need perfected. Like, we've got a perfect chest plate here, but we don't have perfect boots or perfect leggings. So, let's travel to the land, and we have to try to find ourselves some cows, and hopefully get lots and lots of leather. I'm gonna bring my bed with me, just so I can skip the night times. Yeah, I've got a lot of sugarcane and paper left, so I should be good there. 
But yeah, we're gonna need quite a bit of leather to make a full enchantment table because I, I don't really have much of anything. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we've got enough leather now between all the cows and, uh, <clears throat> horses. But I did see a pillager envoy. I took them out, and we have bad omens, so I passed a village. Ooh, there's a cherry blossom vine. You'll get a cherry blossom sapling really fast. <laughs> but I did pass a village a little bit ago. I want to go to the village and see if we can complete a raid. Hopefully it's one of the easier raids and not a hard one because I don't want to die, so I'll play it safe. You know, I've got the golden apples, but, you know, it would be a good source of totems. I don't think I've found a uh, mansion yet, so this might be our only way of getting totems. And since we're still pretty early on in this world, it'll be nice to help keep us from dying if, if it ever comes to that. So hopefully we can complete the raid and get, you know, one or two totems from it. Even just one would be fantastic. All right, I've been looking around for a while. I've been hunting cows. I cannot find where I saw that village before. I tried to retrace my steps, but I don't want to waste too many of my firework rockets, nor do I want to waste too much time. So I just made a bucket, drank some milk, and uh, we'll worry about a raid maybe another time. Or maybe if we can find even a mansion, but that, that would probably not happen. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to look around, see if we can collect maybe a tiny bit more sugar cane or leather just to be safe. And uh, then we'll head back to the island because there's not much else for me to do out here. All right, I think I might have gone a little overboard with all of the resources I collected, but let's let's just see what we can do. Actually, maybe not. I mean, I don't know. It, it's always hard to tell. I really never know how many supplies I need. Maybe one of these days I should just calculate that. And, oh, no way. Awesome. So, uh, I'm out of sugar cane, but looks like I have just enough resources for the full thing. Wow, that's... That's awesome. I, I didn't plan for that. <laughs> I was just hoping for the best. All right, I'm trying to figure out where I should put this. So you know what? Just for now, I'm going to put this table right here. And the reason for that is because we can we can build something around it. Maybe like some sort of tower or some sort of like shack that works as an enchantment room. I don't know. We'll do something, but uh, I'm putting it over here just so that it's out of the way for now. I don't want it right in front of my house. You know, it's a, it's a fine location. <laughs> But yeah, this way I can build something around it if I want. So this should be almost completed. One bookshelf here. Perfect. Level 30. And we got the enchantment table. All right. Right now, what is more important than my tools and weapons is my armor. So let me see. We have the grindstone. What can I disenchant? Let's just bring all this uh, diamond armor with us. Well, actually, our chest plate. Our chest plate's fine. Let's see with boots and helmet. Helmet, I've already got protection one. I don't want this curse of binding one. I'm not, I don't want to accidentally equip it. Well, we'll put that there. <laughs> Ooh, this has mending. Okay, maybe I'll keep that. And then our boots only have protection three. Okay. So if I wanted to combine the two helmets, could I? Perfect. Prop four and mending. It's good for now. I do want unbreaking three, but we'll see if that happens. Don't have much lapis, but let's do a little bit of enchanting. Protection three, protection three. What does this give? Depth strider three. Oh, unbreaking. Okay. Protection four. And then we have protection four, unbreaking three, depth strider three. Or we have... Nope, that's our only option. Okay, let's do it. That is good for now, and we're out of XP. <laughs> well, not as much enchanting as I'd hoped, but you know what? It's all right. Everything's pretty good. We have perfect armor, almost. Uh... We just need Unbreaking 3 on this, and then we could use some slightly better pants. Mending? I'm not going to worry about mending. At least not right now, because that's going to be hard to get. I need to find a village, or I need to find a villager, or get some villagers on this island. It's it's a whole process that I don't know I can do right now. <laughs> we will eventually get there, but right now, I don't, I don't think we're in that place. And then, we have a good shovel. I did some pickaxe combining. We're good there. My axe and bow are like... Do I have anything I can combine? Not really. Well, that's that's okay for now. Okay, so I'm thinking what I want to do now is head back to that useful little island that I'm always going to, or a different island, and collect some sand. After we collect some sand, maybe I'll try, maybe, maybe, I'll try to get myself a sponge, but I don't know if that'll happen. At least one sponge. But uh, I'd like to create a couple small underwater bases. I Like, I want to expand this island, but I also want to expand my territory under the water and I think that could be really cool similar to like glass domes that I can use for various purposes Let's try to get some okay well not only do I need sand but I actually could use some coal to smelt the sand into glass 
And I've also got to collect a couple other resources for this base. So, just... We'll just do a little resource collecting montage, I guess. Yeah, remember earlier when I said I'm gonna try to keep this island looking pretty? Yeah, that, that doesn't matter to me anymore. I'm just gonna collect a bunch of this stuff and do a couple trips. Oh, actually, I've got a shulker box. Alright, so it's a brand new day, and here's what I'd like to do. I want to explore the possibility of hopefully finding a few sponges, which will definitely help this process. I should have a cow on this island somewhere. Where is it? Um, I want to milk the cow so that in case I get mining fatigue while searching for sponges, I can just get rid of it. Um, oh, okay. We've got that. And then I also took out wood so that I can make some doors to breathe. Instead of making water breathing potions, this this will just be my way to breathe underwater. Now, I've really got no clue if uh, if there's anything around here, like any temples. I feel like I saw one early on, right? We saw one early on in this Let's Play. I just don't remember. I could also fly around and look this way, but unfortunately, my, uh, my elytra doesn't look like it's in too good of shape. I know I have another one, but... uh. I need a mending book to fix it, and I don't know if we're going to get that, or I need phantom membranes, and that's also hard to come by. So, I'm mostly just going to explore via boat, and we can we can see what we can find. I'll just look around. Alright, so I only saw it because of the lanterns in the dark, but we've got one right here. So, you know, this is what I always try to do. I'm just going to try to swim up. I'm going to... Oh, dang, we got hit. Okay, I always try to swim right to the middle, and then just... We just oh, that did a lot of damage. Hold on. Hold on. Let's swim away for a sec. Oh... Is this a monument right here? Maybe I'll get this first. We'll see what's in the chest. For the most part, I can usually avoid a lot of the damage by uh, the bad guys. Oh, it's here. We see any chests? Not really. There might be some under the gravel, but... Oh, I've got mining fatigue. I don't want to waste my milk buckets if I don't have to. I only brought two. I should have brought more. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You guys saw that too, right? Hold up. I didn't know he was right there. That was... That was... That was too scary. But now that I've got my chest plate on instead of the elytra, I should have a little less trouble navigating this. Oh, no way. I just saw the sponge. Hold on. We'll go there in a sec. I don't want to go there right away. Uh, okay. All I really need is just one of the sponges. Where was that? Where was that room? Right here? Hold on. I'll hide again. I need to swim. Okay. Are we safe right here? I think we're safe. Um, well, again, I only really need one sponge, but let's try to get as many as we can. I should have should have brought a hoe, but I'll try to break a few, because it'll come in handy. As long as we have one, you know, we can smelt it really fast, or place it in the nether. Then it'll be dry, and we'll be good to go. Okay, can I also make myself an exit? Oh, perfect. Wow, I just kind of tried to swim away from that guy. There might be other sponge rooms, but uh, I'm not too worried. Okay, that's all we're going to get, and you know what? That's fine. If I want more... I'll save these coordinates, and uh, I can always come back here. Okay, where's the boat? Where's the boat? Let's get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, hey, it worked. Sometimes my chaos, the chaos pays off. All right, now that we're back home and the sponges are dry, I'm going to need oh, hello? some water breathing. So I definitely have enough nether wart, and I've got other resources, but I do need one blaze rod still unfortunately i turned all my blaze rods into blaze powder so we'll go get that blaze rod and then what i also need to do is find a warm think and get myself at least a couple of puffer fish i mean even if i can just get one puffer fish that that would be pretty good um and then after we get this blaze rod we have to get ourselves a puffer fish so either do some fishing or i'll explore around to try and find one it shouldn't be too hard even if i get one puffer fish then I can make three water breathing potions and extend the time on them. So that should be okay. But maybe I'll make two groups of three just in case. I'm not sure how big of a build I want to make or how large. But uh, I forget where the fortress was. It was somewhere around here. Alright, so it's a new day. Let's look for pufferfish. Oh, come here. Okay, we got him. Ooh. And then redstone. Sweet. Just got to do this a few more times. All right, well, we've got the potions made, and I've got cobblestone smelting so that I can make some stone brick, but I think we're pretty much ready to uh to start building here. 
My general idea is like a series of underwater domes, kind of, if that makes sense. <laughs> to keep these potions. But uh, yeah, I'll keep some in my inventory for now. Some other lighting sources would be good. Maybe I'll grab some glowstone while we're doing this. But yeah, I'm just gonna work on... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna work on uh, building some of these. And th unfortunately, again, I can't do a pretty time lapse because I don't have the replay mod right now. And uh, I don't know how, how it would work underwater anyways, but I need to find a good area for this. Where, where should I start? Where's a nice area, we think? An area that's like, like maybe right here that's like already relatively flat and close to the island so I can still expand the island in the future, but it's not a, it's not too far off. I think that's a good place to start. However, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get some glowstone. I think I'll need it. <laughs> I'll need some light under the water. Torches aren't gonna cut it, so hopefully I can just collect a little bit of glowstone really fast and then we'll do like a little bit of a montage for building this. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, so, let's talk about our progress so far. Here is our first dome completed. Now, right here, I actually have, like, an entrance way I'm gonna build into this, uh, little hill and try to make an entrance on my island, but that'll come in the future. So, for now, I just have, you know, some trap doors on the top and on the side so I can get in here. But, yeah, we'll, we'll fix this soon. Um, but here it is. This is the general idea I was going for. So, I think for this first dome, I don't have a specific theme. But I'm definitely going to make it livable. So I want to add a lot of chests for storage because I'm really low on storage space. And then maybe down here is where we'll move all of our tables. Like our anvils, crafting tables, furnaces, smithing tables, and stuff like that. Go back up and grab that and also maybe make some chests. I don't know if I have much wood, so we can grab some of these trees. But yeah, I'm a real big fan of how this turned out. I used to make little domes like this underwater all the time in my old survival let's plays, but I haven't made one like this in probably a few years now. So it's really interesting, but uh, it's fun. The only annoying part is sometimes the sponges can be a little difficult to work with, but thankfully, since we've got the nether portal right there, I can pretty easily use them to dry up the water and then place them to make them dry sponges again and just keep repeating that process. Yeah, it's definitely a little tricky to get some decorations in these domes, but uh, I like it. We've got some chests and a few plants here or there just to make it look a little less gray. I'm thinking maybe what would be nice is some paintings. I think that'd be a cool thing just to put on the walls here or there so that I have a little more color. I like this so far, but it's very just gray and dark, which is the aesthetic I wanted, but I would like a little color too. But yeah, I'm proud of this. I think this was really cool. Now I do want to make, you know, I might have to remove some of these chests because I'd like to make another dome or two, like in that direction, that direction, maybe that direction, connect them with more of these tunnels. Um, but the issue is after that, I'm pretty much out of materials. I do have lots of sand to make glass, but I don't have much coal and I don't really have much cobblestone left to make stone brick. So we have to do a bit of a mining trip to collect cobblestone, coal, and maybe a couple of the resources. Not too much though, it'll be pretty easy. All right, so I've pretty much collected all the materials I need. I've got everything finished up smelting here, had to get tons of coal. I might even need a little more. I don't know if this is enough glass or stone. It's been a few days of just collecting resources, coming back, putting it in, going back, repeating that process. But I think for now, I want to get started on a second dome. I think I'm going to try to make a dome in this direction so it offshoots right here in the middle of those chests. There's a little walkway and then a dome right around here where my cursor's. And then inside of the dome, I think what would be really cool, especially next to this island, is to put a beacon inside of the dome. That way, if we're far away, we can see the beacon light shining up, sort of like a lighthouse guiding us to our island. But also, getting a beacon is always a fun achievement and a hard achievement in hardcore Minecraft to try to accomplish. So... Let's just start this next day. Looks like the sun's about to rise pretty easily by building another dome.
All right, well, we've got our two domes finished here. They both look great, but now we're gonna have to spend quite a bit of time in the nether. Um, I don't have looting three on my sword just yet, which will be helpful for collecting wither skeleton skulls, but maybe once we get to 30 XP, um, at that point, if I have the materials, I will uh, mess around and try to enchant another sword. Looting three was gonna be very helpful, but you know, it's it's not necessary. Regardless if I have looting three or not, this, this usually takes um, a long time to do. So we're gonna try our best and just, just see what we can get. I don't know, I don't have an iron farm, so we'll need to collect the ores somehow. It's either probably going to be gold or iron. Maybe emeralds if I want to make a different type of farm, but we'll, we'll see, we'll get there. I'm gonna focus on the skulls first. Well, according to my game statistics, we have killed just over 80 wither skeletons, giving us a grand total of one wither skeleton skull. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna try to get looting. Skull in the chest for now, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess those odds are, like, pretty standard, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing crazy, like, that's about what I'd expect to get. But, um, you know, it's still always a little disappointing to see. Got a lot to potentially disenchant if I want more XP. Oh, it's got sharpness four. All right. Nope, not not what I need. Well, I tried what I could. I guess we'll come back when we have a little more XP. Actually, we do need some more food, so let's go back to that uh, land area over there and take out some animals for food. I only have carrots on this island, and that's not a great food source. So yeah, like, I could combine these two sharpness four swords to get sharpness five, which would be nice, but I do want to try to get looting first, just... So, we're gonna do one more enchantment and get the looting three. If we can't get it after the next enchantment, then figure we may as well still try a little bit. So I do have these firework rockets. I could just use my elytra to fly around, but I wanna be a little cautious. I'm running a little low. I have tons of paper, but not tons of gunpowder. So, <laughs> I wanna play it safe. All right, I've got a good bit more food here. Um, I need pants. My current pants are about to break. So just for now, I'm gonna do that. Just, just to keep it safe, I don't, I don't want to break it on me. Alright, well, time for a little more enchanting. We're up to two skulls and hundreds of wither skeletons killed, so I only need one more. If we don't get looting, it's not the end of the world. But, uh... Oh! Okay. You know, that works. <laughs> I won't complain. Considering how rare looting is, I, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so where is my anvil? Is it in any of my chests? I don't know. I thought I had one. Did I put it somewhere? I was moving stuff around. Oh, the uh, underground. That's where it is. Okay, well, we have looting now. We only need one more skull, but thankfully, I hope looting will uh, make this go by a little faster because honestly, there's so much downtime. Most of the downtime is literally just me looking around for wither skeletons to kill like it's easy to kill them you know i can hit them fall back i have the shield sometimes i get hit but uh it's it's really difficult just to, to find them in the first place swords perfect yes this is exactly what i want in a sword all i need now is unbreaking three and or mending if we got mending on the sword i don't think we need unbreaking three because i think we'd get enough xp to keep it repaired but unfortunately, I don't have any mending book. Bring some netherrack with me just in case I need it. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> One more skull should be pretty easy to get. But I'm bringing these building blocks with me because I don't I don't really want to use my elytra too much. My elytra durability is getting kind of low, so I need mending. But also, uh, I'm out of firework rockets. I've got enough paper, but I don't have gunpowder. Maybe getting gunpowder will be a little easier now that, uh, you know, now that we've got looting three. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I killed some of my adult chickens. We just have the babies. I'm gonna make as many arrows as I can, which isn't many, but I want some arrows for this fight. This fight is easier if you start off just with arrows. And then you know what? I will use my elytra for a second just to fly to these islands. What I'm gonna do is do my typical underground wither fight. 
Uh, maybe I'll collect some gravel and more, a few more arrows, but we'll do this. And then also, while we're over here and away from our house, I want to collect some iron. I didn't actually do any math because I'm not good at that. All I'm thinking is that uh, it's going to be easier to get iron than it will be to get gold. So I think iron is the way to go for this beacon. I don't need a big beacon, so I only need a little bit of iron, you know? Like, nine iron blocks is pretty much the minimum I need, so that, that shouldn't be too hard to get. A little over a stack of iron, which hopefully won't take too long, but yeah, I'll look around, see if I can find any chickens real fast. Getting gravel should be easy, then we'll fight the wither and collect some iron. I think that's a good plan for us. We're as prepared as we can be. Let's do this. Got my golden apples. Okay. There's the tail. Even with a weak bow, this is easy. Dang. They've got to fix this. And there we go. Didn't didn't even need a <laughs> didn't need anything really. Didn't didn't need a sword. Could have done it with my hands. Didn't need armor. Too easy. <laughs> okay, we got a bit of iron. So are we in an iron vein right now, or are we just lucky? Hmm, I don't see any more iron. Okay. Well, there we go. We've got the star. Now it's time for us to get lots and lots of iron. Alright, so I think we're doing pretty good here. I've got a good amount of iron, and I also have my elytras together, just because I'm thinking about maybe combining them for now, until I get a mending book. Uh, we have our food harvested, of course, we have our nether star. So, first, let's make our iron blocks. One thing I think I forgot is obsidian. I don't I don't think I have any, but I can, I can always go back in the muck caves and... Uh, um, I also got 17 diamonds while just on that trip, so that was good. At first, I was I was finding more diamonds than iron, but you know what? I'm not I'm not gonna complain. So I've got some glass. I don't have a, okay. We quickly place a couple of torches so no new mobs spawn, and maybe the old ones will uh will despawn while we're gone. Let's let's hope. All right, let's go back in the cave and try to find some obsidian. Okay, you know what? My pickaxe is breaking this pretty fast, so I'm just going to collect maybe a little more than I initially want, just in case I, I need it for anything. I don't know. Yes. All right, let's hope for the best. Hopefully this uh this little thing down here is cleared out a bit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, look! Oh, my plan worked! <laughs> the mobs despawned. And the light prevents any more from spawning. And of course, we have our pet bat still. He's, uh, he's, he's staying. Maybe I'll name tag him just to keep him. We did find a dungeon chest, so I have one name tag. Oh! Okay! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whew! I was worried. We'll decorate the inside of this, uh, little area in the future, but lighten it up. Since it's just glass, it should work, right? Oh, yes! It doesn't really matter which one we'll use, we'll just use haste for now. Okay, there we go! We got it! We got the beacon inside! So this beacon will hopefully act as a good sort of, like, um, what's the word? Beacon? <laughs> I don't know, it'll be like a lighthouse almost, like, if I'm far away, I'll still know where my island is because I can just look up and we've got this giant, like, signal beam shooting up in the sky. It's pretty nice. Okay, so I have a fun plan for the next step with this island. We've done a lot of good work, but I haven't done any island expansion soon, so I want to work on a little bit of that. Um, first is, we do need to get a little building to hold our enchantment table. I've got to build something there. I'm not sure what, but I think I've got an idea. What I want to do for our first little expansion of the main island here is to create a garden area. 
I'm not sure in which direction I'll build it. Maybe over here would be a good place. I, I could just expand the main island itself, or I'll build a sister island. I'm not sure yet. But I want to collect a lot of plants, trees, saplings, things like that. We can maybe make a pond, maybe have some terraces, a hedgerow, things like that. I think a really big garden area would make this island look super pretty, and I think it'll help complete the rest of this. It'll look nice next to our house. I really like building gardens. Honestly, plants are just a big cheat code. You can just put plants all over your build, and suddenly, it's ten times better looking. I've got a couple stacks of dirt between all my chests, so I'll only need to collect a little bit of that. But yeah, it'll be a nice place to hold our animals, to store some trees, we can have more plants. Maybe get rid of this ugly farm on the side here, hopefully. I think this will be a great improvement to our island. I definitely want to make sure this island is big and beautiful before we finish the 100 days. I think that's a good achievement to hit. Also, if you guys are enjoying and you're still here, make sure to like and subscribe as I really do appreciate it. These videos take a long time to make. It takes an extra long time these days, often a month or two between uploads, only because I'm also a full-time student and I have other internships and jobs I do, so uh, right now, things are a little crazy, but I try my best to fit it all in. I'm one of those people where I like to make myself too busy and then complain about how busy I am. It's, uh, it's not a good cycle. I don't want to fly too much, because I do want to conserve... I do want to conserve my rockets and elytra durability a little bit, so... Maybe when I'm using my elytra from now on, I'll, I'll be a little more smart how I use my rockets. But, uh, I do want to travel a bit of a ways, because if we could find, like, a meadow biome or a cherry blossom biome, that would be extra great. Uh, I think that'd be really nice. I love the cherry blossom tree. And having one or two on my island with those beautiful pink particle effects, I think would really make this. But also, I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea what's around here. The nearest biome like that could be tens of thousands of blocks away. So, uh, I don't know. Wish me luck. We'll, we'll figure it out. So I want to find some sheep so that I can hopefully uh, make a bed. Because I didn't bring one. And I don't like exploring at night. Because it's hard for me to see with these shaders. Plus, like, I'm already so colorblind. When everything's dark, it just makes things even harder to distinguish. So, right now, collect plants. Collect trees. And hopefully, take down some sheep for some wool for a bed. And maybe some more food, too. Because I've only got... Oh, I, I do have a stack of carrots. Never mind. I've got a bit more food than I thought. No way. I'm... I'm just too good. You know, I was either gonna head in that direction or this direction, and the reason I did this direction is because I was like, hey, I already went in that direction a little bit. May as well go this direction. And you know what? It, it paid off because we have the cherry blossom biome. Now, unfortunately, I did not bring any shears to collect leaves. And I also do not have a silk touch tool. However, I can probably hop in one of these caves, collect a little bit of coal, collect a little bit of iron, and make myself some shears so that I can collect some leaves from the trees. Or if I can't find any iron, I'll just make shears when I get back. We can grow a new tree and collect the leaves off that one. But uh, yeah, this is going to be nice. I mean, I shouldn't be too surprised. Cherry blossom biomes really aren't that rare. But still, you know, it's, it's nice. I, I wanted one, and it's here, so it makes me happy. Plus, we're coming across lots of unique flowers, and ah, tulips, the best. So, this is really good. This should this should be really nice. I'm not 100% certain what I want to build on my island, if I want to do a sister island, or just have one island and expand it, or I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm starting to come up with ideas, and I'm sure it'll look good in the end. Yeah, I, I think I've got enough flowers. This is nice, though. All right, we are finally back on the island, and in these chests, I have what I think is pretty much everything I need for this project. We do have, uh, we are gonna need some dirt, and I'll probably need some leaves from other trees, but we can collect that all here on the island. So, I'm still not sure if I want to expand the current island, if I was to do that, where I would expand it, or if I want to make a sister island. I think just expanding the island would probably be the best idea. Um, I feel like it just makes the most sense and it'll probably look the best. So, I'm just gonna start placing dirt and, uh, just kinda hope for the best. And see what looks good, I guess. That's, that's pretty much all I've got in my plan for right now. What do you think, Mr. Sheep? Yeah, he likes it. He likes it. Okay, that's what we're gonna do.
Be free. All right, well, here we are, 10 days away from the finale, and our island is looking amazing. Unfortunately, I really wish I had the replay mod right now so that I, uh, I could showcase more of this island building, but I tried to do my best. So, a big change, but here we are. I really wanted to go for a lush, paradise-looking island, sort of like an oasis in the middle of the desert, except the desert is actually an ocean. <laughs> But we have this beautiful, heavily forested island. I've got this awesome looking tree right here. I love to make custom trees, but I didn't have space to make too many more. Uh, of course, we have these beautiful cherry blossom trees. And then I tried to make some sort of like pavilion area for the enchantment table. I think this looks pretty good. I tried to find a few little inspirational posts off Pinterest and uh, this is all that worked. Honestly, even though Pinterest isn't used too much in these years, they've still got great Minecraft build inspiration. But we did that, and then I decided to add a little pond, even though we are in the middle of the ocean. I think ponds are always great. And I also tried to make this portal look almost abandoned, or kind of look like some sort of big boulder or rock. I think it's really nice. I like it. Uh, it didn't turn out perfect. I wish I had some mossy cobblestone. I think using mossy cobblestone blocks, stairs, and slabs really would have made this perfect. But for now, it's it's good enough, and you know what? It is accessible as long as I crouch. But now with that out of the way, for the rest of these 10 days, I have something really awesome I want to accomplish because we're definitely missing something on this island. I think on this island, it is pretty much a requirement that I get myself a sniffer. Not only are we in 1.20, so it feels right, but also... I've got so many other animals, and I just love the sniffer. I'd love to have one. Thankfully, there are many a warm ocean biomes around this ocean. Or at least I assume, because I found one already. So, let's go try to find ourselves a sniffer egg. I believe there's about a 6 or 7% chance to find a sniffer egg within suspicious sand or gravel in a warm ocean ruin. So, even though it's a fairly low chance, there's usually at least a few pieces of suspicious sand at each ruin. So, as long as you find a few, you can probably get yourself an egg. However, it's not guaranteed, so maybe I'll have to travel for a while. This might take more than the remaining 10 days. So, what I need to do to prepare is to make myself a brush, and for that, I need copper. But also, just just to make this a little easier on me, I do want to make a few more water breathing potions and night vision potions. I've got golden carrots. I don't think I have any more puffer fish, but I can get some more easily not too far from here. So let's collect all the materials we need for those couple of things, get those, and then start searching for the sniffer. Okay, well, I have no idea what the uh, what the durability of brushes is like, so I made a few, and I guess we'll head out. I'm gonna start by heading out with my boat, because I already know where one warm motion biome is. I'll see if there's any ruins around there. If not, we can start to head out using our elytra just for a little bit, because the durability isn't great. And hopefully, hopefully, we can find some good things along the way. I'm also gonna bring my bed with me, just so I can make it daytime when it's night, so that we can see a little bit better. But, fingers crossed that we can, uh, I don't know, find something good. Okay, so this area near where I caught my puffer fish originally has actually a couple different ruins all close by, so hopefully I can, uh, we can just explore them. I'll need my water breathing potions. I'm just gonna throw it out, I've got enough stuff in my inventory. So basically we're just on the lookout for suspicious sand or gravel. Uh, nearby, which is really hard to point out because the textures look the same, but that's also why I have, a. Uh, 
night vision potions just so I can see a little bit better in the dark ocean. Like, for example, right here, we have a suspicious sand. But only a piece of coal. Not all of the sand is shown right away, though, so sometimes we have to brush through the first layer and then break the first layer and go through and find a second layer. But, uh, oh, that was easy. <laughs> no way! What? Wait a minute! I only needed one sniffer egg, but, uh, I guess we're getting two back to back. Well, shoot, should I keep even looking? Oh, well, I accidentally broke that one. I wish I could say I was lying, but, uh, here we go, I guess. I mean, hey, I've, I've had a lot of things that were unlucky this, uh, this, this Let's Play, so I guess sometimes we, we deserve a little bit of luck. Is this suspicious gravel? No, it's really hard for me to tell which suspicious gravel. I didn't even need all these potions. I already had a few, so I just made some more, and looks like I'm good to go, pretty much. Well, uh, I think it's still worth looking at some of the other suspicious gravel, just to see what we can find. We can find cool pottery shirts like this, or I don't know, sometimes, I know you can get emeralds. I know a few of them, I think, I think, there's different armor templates. So, I'm not sure, let's just, let's look around, see what we can find. I just, I didn't expect this to, uh, happen so quickly, so I don't even know what to do with myself. Maybe there's only suspicious sand around these warm ocean ruins. Because I'm only seeing sand, not the gravel. Oh, an emerald, okay. Oh, and another one. Is this a common theme with suspicious sand that you find similar items nearby? Like, I doubt that's how it works. I think it's probably just coincidence, but hey, it's still a... It's still interesting. I don't know, I haven't messed around with too many of these newer 1.20 features. I mean, even though they've been around for a while at this point, I, uh, I don't know, I've been playing a lot of modded Minecraft this year, and a lot of videos, you know, like my last one where I played Minecraft, but it updates. So, I haven't had a lot of time to explore these newer features, but some of them are really interesting. If you know more than me, feel free to share what you know. Well, that was, uh, that was a good trip, I guess. <laughs> I got what we needed. Alright, so for these sniffers, let's just put, like, a small little area over here, and have their eggs. I'm gonna make sure I have a little platform to place this moss on. Okay, and here we go. Boom! There we go. I'm pretty sure these eggs, uh, hatch faster on moss. So, so there we go. I'll make sure they have enough room. So, that was quicker than I thought, so since we have the time, let's make a little area for them. We have a little bit of space over here, so I think what they're deserving of is two things. The first thing would definitely be a beach, so they need sand, but on top of that, they also deserve some jungle trees to chill in the shade, but some custom jungle trees, not the ugly jungle trees you find spawning in jungle biomes. Well, we're off again. Let's go to a jungle biome really fast. I've got a little bit of food in my inventory, but I don't really have the Elytra durability, because it's almost broken. But let's go collect some sand and some jungle trees. Why not? Actually, let me bring my bed and some shears, just in case I need it. Okay, where are the sniffers? There's one. We got our, our little snifflet. <laughs> I, I saw the eggs were gone, but I couldn't see them. Hey, baby. I love the little snifflets. Or are you fully grown? I can't tell. Did you just grow up before my eyes? Where's the other one? Was I gone for that long? Huh. I mean, I did chill in my house for like a minute, but where's... The oh. Yeah, he's still a snifflet. I don't know. Maybe he'll grow up right before... I swear that one was a baby when I was looking at it. Now it's an adult. Unless it was always an adult. I don't know. Or, or maybe you're still a baby. I can't tell. Come here. No, maybe he's still a baby. I think so. I don't know. Anyways, I've collected some materials, so let's create this beach now. I think I think right around here would be a good area. I'm going to remove this tree, at least just for now. I don't know if I'm going to permanently remove it. I might grow another one later. But uh, we're going to create a little beach on this side of the island. I think it's a great addition because, you know, it just, it just adds another little biome to the island. It adds a nice new look for it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to carve off a path through the island, and I'm gonna replace this small little area with just, uh, a little bit of sand. But we'll also collect this dirt so that I can place the dirt underneath where it once was so that I can still create a platform for 
the sand to uh to stand on top of because the sand's got to stand on something okay I take some of my leftover dirt from the chests and we can fill this area up it should hopefully look okay oh sniffer i don't want him to get trapped we'll have to be careful i will do this maybe i'll just do this a few blocks at a time so that he's not stuck This island's really pretty. I, I did a good job. <laughs> Even though I didn't really build much. All you have to do is, if you put trees and particle effects with either these trees or spore blossoms, you put some grass and flowers around, it's going to make anything look good. Maybe I'm just a sucker for uh, for plants. I don't know. I might need a little more sand too. We'll see. I've got some in one of my chests. I think, I don't know. Somewhere I've got a stack or two, I think. So as I'm walking around this island at night, it looks good, but you know what would make it ten times better, and I should have just collected this three minutes ago when I was collecting moss, is, uh, hanging lights. And of course, by hanging lights, I mean, I mean glowberries, but I, th I think that would, I think that would just make this better, so, uh, let's go get some glowberries. Honestly, I think that would just make it. Putting them under some of these larger trees with these beautiful particle effects we already have, it's just gonna make this ten times better. All right, uh, we should be in the right place. Oh, there's axolotls! Oh, I definitely gotta catch them for my, uh... I definitely got. I totally forgot about axolotls. I gotta catch them for my pond. Okay, so not only do I need glowberries, but I need a little bit of iron. Thankfully, I do have wood to make a crafting table. Oh, perfect. We're in one of those big, uh, iron areas. And we have all the resources we need. I can just smelt the iron with wood, honestly. I'll collect a few pieces of iron, though, because I want enough for a few buckets so that we can collect multiple axolotls. <laughs> They're just so cute. I, I don't know how I forgot about them. Okay, cool. We'll let that smelt, and in the meantime, I'll collect some glowberries from around here. There are, there, are, there are a couple for me to collect. Not a lot, though. We've got some water buckets. Let's collect a few more of these. Yeah, fill these up. Come here, baby axolotl. Yeah! <laughs> we got a baby! Oh no. I didn't mean to push him. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Come here. Okay, we got him. Got you. Got you. And is that it? Okay, I think that's it. Let's just look around to little bit more to see if there's any more. I'm not on the search for, like, the infamous blue axolotl or anything. Just to see if there's any more we can find. These boys. Boom, boom, boom. Look at them. Yeah, there we go. Now, here's the only issue. They might try to make their way out. And once they get on land, they might, uh... Yeah. They might get stuck. I think they'll make their way back to the pond. But they might accidentally make their way into the ocean since it's just a little bit far away so maybe i'll have to fence this off i don't know i'll keep an eye on them for a few minutes and see what they decide to do but it seems like they they like the land but i think they're gonna end up i don't know i don't want them to die on land i don't think they unalive themselves right they'll they'll make their way back to the pond why are you why do you keep trying to go this way the water's right there buddy just go go in there and then of course we can just throw some glowberries around right how do I do this? Oh. I guess I can't place it directly on leaves. That's okay. Why can't you place it on leaves? I feel like you should be- But regardless, I feel like this beach. Oh, something about the beach and the shaders. The dolphins jumping across the water. It's all very beautiful. It feels like a great and beautiful way to end this fantastic adventure that has taken me uh, a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> Normally I could crank out these 100 days videos. A lot faster than I did with this one, but that's okay. Oh no! I didn't mean to hit you, buddy! What I meant to do was this. I was gonna place one glowberry on my house. I am so sorry. Please don't hate me. I think we're friends. He's an adult. He's he's all grown up now. He, he knows how to forgive and forget. Alright, there we go. Well, it is officially day 100. We have survived 100 days on a deserted island in hardcore Minecraft. During our time, we have turned these two tiny little islands into a magnificent and lush paradise with a house, different buildings, tons of animals, and of course, some really cool underwater bases. 
like to expand this. I'm not sure if I'll do 200 days in this world. If I do do 200 days, there's definitely a lot I can do. Like, I think building an underwater Atlantis-type civilization could be awesome. Making more of these domes, making them bigger and more extravagant. And of course, expanding this island to maybe have a whole village. Get villagers, maybe create some sort of a kingdom up here. I don't know, if you'd like to see me make 200 days, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Show your support, as these videos do take a long time to make, but I try my best. Anyways, I hope you found this entertaining or useful. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, I'd like to hear your thoughts, though. But that is all for today's episode. My name is Jay Wisp, and I hope to see you all again very, very soon.